Hey everyone, the professor here and welcome to today's Sunday crude oil full analysis for you. We are going to be breaking down this chart and we are going to start right here on the monthly chart. A lot of traders do not spend time looking at the monthly, but I do because sometimes they reveal some very nice secrets. So starting with the monthly, I always like to keep this white. Take a look here where we've had two previous rejections in this particular area, and that is about 83.75, and we are nearing that spot uh, right now. And before I keep going, I just want to remind you that this video is closed caption in over 15 different languages. So if you go down below, if you don't want to hear my voice and you just want to see the subtitles, click on the closed captioning and you should be able to find your language in the closed captioning. So we are looking here at the monthly. We are obviously currently in the month of March. And as we look at the monthly, we are going to do a Fibonacci retracement from that high down to that low. And we can kind of see that we are approaching the 61.8 Fibonacci level when it comes to the monthly. So that is going to be an interesting area to kind of keep in mind as we move forward. And so what I kind of like to do is I want to go ahead and mark this right here, okay? And then over to the right, I want to grab a text box and I want to mark monthly resistance, okay? And also 61.8, that lets me know, hey, you know, we've got to use caution if we get price uh, to come back up there, okay? So I'm going to kind of leave that there as we go. So just an idea that that is what's happening on the monthly level, and again, super important to know where price is going on the bigger time frames, because again, that's where the large institutions are trading. So now we're going to go ahead and walk it down into the weekly time frame and to kind of take a look at some of the key points in what's happening with crude oil. And actually, I want to also invite you to stay until the end of the video. I'm going to give everyone here at the very end the opportunity to pick up this beautiful 22 plus page guide uh, that I created how to trade with Renko charts. I'm going to make that available to you absolutely for free at the end of this video. So, as we look here at the weekly chart, we can see here that we did have price close above the last week. So all indications based on the technical analysis is that we should see crude oil possibly continuing to the upside, even if it's a temporary movement up. And then of course, we've got this monthly resistance area that we have right here. So now I want to go ahead and bring that up here back into view to remind me that that is a key area that we have to look at as well, even though we can see that previous resistance here on the weekly and here as well on the weekly, okay? Now, if we look at a Fibonacci retracement from this high down to this low, again, a lot of this corroborates that particular area that we are looking at. So here on the weekly, the monthly resistance of the 61.8 is just a little bit higher on the weekly, kind of in between the 61 and the 88. And that's typically where we look for those nice reversal spots. So we are not yet in a position to say crude oil is definitely going to drop to lower numbers just yet, just based on the technical analysis. So now we're going to eliminate that FIB level. We're going to eliminate that because we understand now what happened, and we are going to drop down into our daily candles. Okay, again, the daily candles, uh, we begin to craft our trade entries from the daily on down to the 15-minute chart for our entry. So we finished on Friday with kind of a very inconclusive candle. Uh, obviously, that would be considered a 
doji candle there on Friday. So a lot of indecisiveness as far as where price wanted to go. We saw a top of 81.45 and we saw a floor of 80.49. So about a $1 price difference or about 100 pips or 100 points in difference. So again, very, very inconclusive. Okay, what we what this daily candle does show us, though, is that at least it came down to grab some liquidity from this candle. But again, this is another bullish engulfing candle, okay, that did break and close above that particular high. So again, all indications to crude oil is that we should see price go to the upside, and then we will see kind of what happens here at this resistance level as we begin to look at price coming up to this level right in here. So now we're going to go ahead and eliminate that. And now we're going to start to strategize as we go into the eight hour time frame. And the reason why I begin to look at the eight hour and begin to look at these points is because we have to account for wicks and we have to account for the price action. Okay. So we are going to start developing our zones here starting on the eight hour time frame. And so what I would like for you to do is at the same time is take a look at these areas, okay? And if you need to pause the video, if you need to uh, stop the video so you can mark up these zones, I wanna give you that value as we are walking through this. So again, this is just to encourage you to continue marking up your charts here, whether you're watching this, you know, six hours after we've published this video, these are going to be our zones for the first 48 to 72 hours once crude oil opens. And we'll talk about the Sunday gap here in just a minute. Okay. So for right now, we are we understand that this has been the current high, meaning we have not been able to close above that 8150-ish area to the top side. Okay. So this is the way that I structure my charts as I'm heading into the actual week. And then I start to look at the floor. This was the floor that here we have not been able to close below 76.88 or so. And then we start developing our game plans as we move to the smaller time frames. I'm going to extend this out so we have it for the next few days. So what we do know is this right? As we move this chart down, if we get a candle to close above this 8150 area, then we presume we are going to go higher. Until then, right, we have to realize that this has been an area that has rejected now four different eight-hour candles, okay? So that's important to know as we kind of drop down at the different time frames. Now, what I want to do then is I like to mark up with a single line, kind of areas that have shown support and resistance on the eight hour chart. And I like to go to the left and kind of take a look at what's happened here before. And again, you can kind of see right in here that we had rejection, price melted, rejection, price melted, rejection, price came down. Here it was a floor and price went up. So this is going to be a valid area that I am going to drop a zone in on the eight hour chart. And then I'm gonna do it one more time to the bottom here where I see all these wicks uh, rejecting and I want to go over look at my left and see if I need to clean this up a little bit and kind of get uh, just an, an area, an idea where I may not get caught trying to go long or short because of previous rejection. So that looks pretty good for right now for the eight hour chart. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drop over to the four hour chart. And here we begin to see uh, the charts a little bit clearer. Okay. And we also begin to look at different floors on the four hour chart. So again, uh, if you're part of my trading group, you understand that this is what we do. And this is why we are so successful. We are not looking for the home run. We are simply trading zone to zone, whether to the upside or to the downside, we get our points in, we get our pips in by trading zone to zone. So as we look at these areas here, this is what we focus on. We block out the news about whether we think price is going to go higher or price is going to go lower, right? Everyone has an opinion. All that matters is what is happening in this chart. That's all that we care. What is happening in this chart? So these are going to be some of the key levels now that we are marking up on this four-hour time frame, where we have seen previous rejection through Wix. 
we mark those up and we look at that as potential areas where we may, you know, we may not want to take a buy, for example, right here because of previous rejection. We're going to look for this candle to close on a smaller time frame, okay, and as it did here, retested before we get into those type of buys. And even though this may look pretty close in nature, this is about a 70 pip difference. Okay. And again, we are in our 20 pip challenge. I'm helping people in our group grab 20 pips or 20 ticks and futures each and every day in their separate account so they can have that growth account, which is consistent each and every day as we trade live in our own app that we have in our community. And you can find that information and website scrolling below. So we now are at the four hour chart. And again, this is what we are going to focus on this four hour chart. Now we drop over to the one hour chart. Okay. And this is now where we begin to develop the Sunday, Monday, maybe going into Tuesday game plan. Now, again, here on the one hour, we start looking for areas that have shown both support and resistance, right? We see that little area right in here. We already have this bottom area. And so we start to focus in right here on this time frame. So the first thing we want to do is we want to mark up that this is going to be the gap area, okay? And what that means is, for those of you that may not understand uh, what the gap area, and it'll look a little bit clearer on the 15, and it also the same pretty much on the one. And what I mean by gap, and if you don't know what the gap is, so the gap is nothing more than this is where price closed on Friday. So when the market opens at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on Sunday, which is the day this video is being published, if price is not opening exactly where it closed, it creates a gap, a space in between where price closed and where price opens. And I'm going to show you an example of that right now. So what we normally do is we are live in the app at 6 p.m. Eastern time in our community, and we're looking for any major gaps, not only with crude oil, but with the indices as well. So for example, if on Sunday, a bullish green candle, and I'll make this green to keep it consistent, opens to the top side, what this means is that price between the opening and where it closed on Friday creates a gap. And so obviously, we look to trade the gap if it's 50 points or more. Okay. Uh, and we talk about that live in the, in the uh, inside of our app. If gap opens down here on Sunday and creates this space between the close and the open, then usually what happens is price runs away for a while and then price comes back up to close the gap. So that would be, we would be buying this gap up and we would be selling this gap down. So those are the two scenarios uh, when it comes to the actual gap right in here. So we, again, we, we do that live inside the app on Sundays at 6 p.m. right when the market opens. So for now, we have to account to these zones are going to be crucial zones for the opening of the market, okay? And again, we usually are dropping down uh, to the five minute and we begin to look at what price action is doing. Now, if we look here on the 15 minute chart, we can see that the last few candles over here, right, did not create a higher high, okay? It did not create a higher high. We actually created a lower low, a lower high, and then another lower low, but this is only on the 15-minute chart. If we drop back up to the one hour, we kind of see the exact same thing. We had this high, then we had this low, then we had this high. Are we going to drop from here to create a lower low, or are we going to go to the top side and if we create a new higher high, then we already know that has to exceed this price point of 81.50. So then we know we've got to go higher on the one hour if it's going to create a new higher high because we already have the evidence right here at 81.46, right? Price already came back up to this area and rejected. So if it comes back up, we need to see if we're going to see rejection again in this area. But if we close above the area, then rest assured that we are going to begin to climb back up into 82 and possibly 83 as the higher time frame suggests. So we just trade zone to zone. 
We look at what price is doing and we react to price. We don't react to what we think is going to happen because of something that we read or that we don't read. So this chart on the one hour confirms that price uh, you know, did drop. And if we look at the four hour, we also see that this high here did not create a new high based on this high. We had a high here and then we had this four hour doji candle here, which grabbed rejection. Okay. But based on this candle, based on this doji candle in this zone and what the higher time frame showed us, there's pretty strong evidence that we will probably see higher prices with crude oil, possibly at the beginning of the week. And then we'll see how that reacts up at this level one more time that we've already visited on several occasions. So that is what we're looking at for the beginning of the actual week. Again, one of the positive things about being in a positive community is that we guide each other. Uh, there is daily, hourly analysis about what's going on, uh, not only myself, but all the other 170 plus traders, most of them trading crude oil, but others trading Forex, others trading indices are constantly sharing charts or sharing their entries. And so it is a vibrant, awesome international community from Africa to Portugal to India, all over the place, United States. we got a lot of traders with a lot of experience doing some amazing things. Okay, so as mentioned before, I want to give you uh, the opportunity because you stuck around until towards the end of this video to grab this 22 fully colored, awesome ebook or PDF, however you want to download that. And to get that, all you need to do is head over to shop.theprofessortrades.com. You scroll down to the digital download section, absolutely free for you for sticking around and watching this video, a token of my appreciation. All of our members get our every Saturday, I drop learning articles, but this one for you, if you're not a member, totally cool. You can grab this 22 page layout absolutely for free. And then you can also take a look at some of the merch. We just launched a very small store. Uh, we're funding new traders, uh, both from Africa and all over the United States and across other countries. So as new traders come in, we wanna be able to say, hey, on behalf of these donations that were donated, we're going to start you off with a $50 trading account. So again, shout out to our community members who have begun to donate for that fund because they understand the importance of paying it forward. And we talk about psychology and we talk about kindness and we talk about gratitude in our community all the time. So go in there and pick up that free uh, PDF or ebook if you are absolutely interested. So I uh, hope you got some value in this video. Let me go back over here to full screen. Again, if you're brand new, hit that like button for me. If you're older subscriber, hit that like button for me. But if you are brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on these videos. I do have some travel coming up internationally. So I'll be doing shorter videos through YouTube shorts on my channel. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you're notified through the notifications bell so you don't miss out on those shorter analysis and trade alerts that I will put out through YouTube, maybe one or two a week. But again, if you are in the community, you will get daily updates, not only on crude oil, but on everything else that we are trading as a community. Thank you so much for watching. And if you stay to the end, let me know down in the comments below and say Renko, R-E-N-K-O for that Renko chart. Type in the word Renko. I know you made it this far and you're gonna see a video popping up on your screen here that is going to help you connect that chart to trading with Renko charts and SAR to make your trading life much, much easier. I'm 100% dedicated on YouTube, not to flashy videos, but to educating the public so you can have a well-informed decision about what you are trading. And I hope you join us in the community so we can expedite your growth process with real people, real traders who focus in on humility, humbleness, and kindness as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.